Hello everyone. I am Divya Pragya from Informatica GCS MDM and today we are going to see what is external links in MDM and how to configure it. The agenda for today's video is as follows. We will be starting with the overview of custom user interface components followed by introduction to external links. Then we will be seeing web page embedding and RSS feed embedding followed by a quick demo. Coming to the overview, the custom user interface components can be configured using the component editor in the provisioning tool. Once the component is configured, you will be able to see it in the layout designer. You can add custom components such as social media feeds and web pages. This can be achieved by using external links. The external link component is a custom component that you can add to home page layouts, additional page layouts and record view layouts. The component can display external web pages and RSS feeds like Twitter feeds. You can display external resources such as Bing search and Twitter feeds related to records which we will be seeing in today's demo video. The external link component uses an inline frame to embed an external web page or use HTML language and JavaScript for RSS feed. Now this is an example of MDM with social media that is Twitter. On the right hand side you can see the live tweets that is related to Informatica business solution business entity. We will be seeing how to configure live tweets rendering on the dashboard in the coming sections. Web page embedding. It is possible to embed search pages like Microsoft Bing search page that populates the display name of the business entity. We will be seeing this example and how to implement this in the coming demo video. Inline frame is used to embed such pages in the business entity layouts. RSS feed configuration. It is possible to display social media feed like Twitter feed that belongs to a business entity. This is done using HTML and JavaScript. We will see more about it in the demo section. Here, as an example, we can see tweets by Informatica Corp, which is related to the business entity that we have opened in the UI. We will be seeing how to configure this in the demo section. Let's get started with the demo. For web page embedding, we will be using this code snippet. This is a HTML code. Here iframe is the tag used to embed the web page. iframe stands for inline frame, which is used to embed another document within the current HTML document. Now let's create a custom component external link by using this code snippet. Now I have copied this code snippet. Now let's log in into provisioning tool. We'll go to component editor and we'll select the external links component and we will create. Since we are creating the Bing web page, let's name it as Bing search page. Now I will paste the code that I copied from the notepad. Here you can see the URL is www.bing.com slash search and the queue that is query that we are uh, searching is Informatica plus the display name which will be coming from the business entity. Let's apply the changes and let's go to the layout designer to create the layout. Now we will be creating a layout on person. Click on create and create a record view layout. We will be creating a record view and review layout.
select the person business entity and select the person view click on next I'm selecting anyone for now as the user select the purpose click on next and select the template that we will be using I'll be using the template one now drag and drop record details and we will be seeing the Bing search page component which is visible here after we created it inside the component editor we will be dragging and dropping this as well let's save the changes and let's publish the changes The changes are published successfully. Now let's log in into E360 UI and see the configuration we have done. Let's log in into E360 UI. Now we will be opening an existing record which belongs to person business entity. Now this is the layout that we have defined person big search layout let's scroll down here so we can see here that the this is the custom external link component that we have created which is filled with the value which is coming from the display name of the person business entity that we have opened so this is the display name and same thing we are able to see in the search box as well so this is how we can embed a web page inside the e360 ui using an external link now let's see how to configure rss feed external link so this is the code snippet that we will use today for configuring rss feeds here the class is used as Twitter timeline as you can see here this class is used to embed timelines like live tweets inside another component the another thing that you can notice here is the platform.twitter.com slash widgets.js we can set up Twitter widgets in our page for faster access also widgets such as embedded tweets is more reliable now let's use this code snippet in our rss feed configuration i have copied the code snippet from notepad now we will be creating using external links in the provisioning tool Now I will be pasting the code that I have copied from notepad. Let's apply the changes. Let's publish the changes. Now we will add that component inside our layout using the layout designer. Let's go to layout designer. Now I will be using organization for our RSS feed configuration. We will create a record view layout for this as well. Select the organization view, select the role, select the purpose. Select the template. I will be using the second template here. Now we will drag and drop whatever is needed here. That is record details. And now we will be able to see the Twitter feed custom component that we have created from the component editor. Now let's drag and drop here. Let's save the changes. Let's publish the changes.
the changes have been published. Let's log in into our UI. Now we are able to log in into UI. Now we will be creating a new record in the organization business entity. In our codes, we have mentioned in the href that we will be using twitter.com slash display name. So we will be populating display name in the business entity. So let's create a record. Now we can see that the custom component that we have created in the provisioning tool is working fine. That is whatever tweets that has been posted by Informatica can be seen here. This is how RSS feed configuration can be done using external link component in the provisioning tool. Coming to the back end, the details of the external link component that we have configured in provisioning tool are stored in C repos component instance table. So we created two external link components here we can see one of them was Bing search page and the another one was Twitter feed. Let's see the component inside of the blob file that is config data. Go to text and you will be able to see the component, the content of the component, which is same as what we used in the code snippet. For Twitter feed, we can also see the same. Go to the text and see the component. Now this brings us to the end of the demo video. Thank you for making it till the end of this video. You can reach out to us using the below links. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.